Hello and welcome to this tutorial on C language. My name is Dr. Deepak Kumar and I am going to teach you programming in C language. C is a general purpose, high level language that was originally developed by Dennis M. Ritchie to develop the Unix operating system at Bell Labs. C was originally first implemented on the Deep PDP 11 computer in 1972. In 1978, Brian Kernighan and Dennis Ritchie produced the first publicly available description of C, now known as the K and R standard. The Unix operating system, the C compiler, and essentially all Unix application programs have been been written in C. C has now become a widely used professional language for various reasons, the few of the reasons are. It is easy to learn. It is a structured language. It produces efficient programs. It can handle low-level activities. It can be compiled on a variety of computer platforms. There are a lot of facts you must know about this language. 1. C was invented to write an operating system called Unix. 2. C is a successor of B language which was introduced around the early 1970s. 3. The language was formalized in 1988 by the American National Standard Institute, ANSI. 4. The Unix OS was totally written in C. 5. Today C is the most widely used and popular system programming language. 6. Most of the state-of-the-art software have been implemented using C. 7. Today's most popular Linux OS and RDBMS MySQL have been written in C. Know the question arises why we need or use C programming language? C was initially used for system development work, particularly the programs that make up the operating system. C was adopted as a system development language because it produces code that runs nearly as fast as the code written in assembly language. Some examples of the use of C might be Operating systems, language compilers, assemblers, text editors, print spoolers, network drivers, modern programs, databases, language interpreters, utilities. Before we study the basic building blocks of the C programming language, let us look at a bare minimum C program structure so that we can take it as a reference in the upcoming tutorials. A C language program basically consists of the following parts. Preprocessor commands. Functions. Variables. Statements. Expressions. Comments. Let us look at a simple code that would print the words hello world. Let us take a look at the various parts of the above program. The first line of the program hashtag includes studio.h as a preprocessor command, which tells a C compiler to include studio.h file before going to actual compilation. The next line int main is the main function where the program execution begins. The additional the next line slash will be ignored by the compiler and it has been put to add additional comments in the program. So such lines are called comments in the program. The next line printf is another function available in C which causes the message hello, world, to be displayed on the screen. The next line return 0, terminates the main function and returns the value 0. Let us see how to save the source code in a file, and how to compile and run it. Following are the simple steps. Open a text editor and add the above mentioned code. Save the file as hello.c. Open a command prompt and go to the directory where you have saved the file. Type gcc hello.c and press enter to compile your code. If there are no errors in your code, the command prompt will take you to the next line and would generate a.out executable file. Now, type a.out to execute your program. You will see the output hello world printed on the screen. Make sure the GCC compiler is in your path and that you are running it in the directory containing the source file hello.c. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.